Our kit is designed so the average person can replace the original Bargman L400 and Leister lock sets on their vintage trailer with a modern Bauer lock set. Great care has been taken in designing our kit so it'll fit most trailer doors, but some modifications to the door or spacer plates may be required for some applications. Please read and understand the full written instructions on the Camping Treasures website before starting to install your lock replacement kit. We have included all the parts and hardware needed for a typical installation. You will need to supply an assortment of tools and some supplies. The aluminum adapter plates in your kit are shipped unpainted. You can leave them unfinished, polish them, or paint them. Full painting instructions are included in the written instructions. Place masking tape along the edge of the door and mark the location of the latch assembly. We will refer to these marks later. Remove the two screws on the inside trim plate and the one or two screws holding the plate on the edge of the door. Then remove the inside handle and trim. Gently push the lock assembly from the inside. It may take some effort because there will be butyl tape sealing the lock to the door. With the lock removed, measure the thickness of the door. The door thickness must be between 1 and 1 8 inches to 1 and 3 8 inches thick. If your door is outside these dimensions, refer to the written instructions. Clean the area with petroleum-free solvent. Remember to protect yourself when working with solvents. Apply masking tape to the inside and outside surfaces to protect the finish and provide a good surface to mark the cut lines. Hold the inner adapter plate tight against the surface of the door with the bent edge tight against the edge of the door. Line up the notched edge of the plate with the marks you made on the tape locating the original bolt. With a marker or pencil, draw around the inside of the adapter plate. This will be the cutout for the new lock set. Using a 5 16 inch drill bit, drill holes through the door at the corners. Make sure you drill these holes at 90 degrees to the door surface. These holes will locate the new opening on the outside of the door. Use a T-square along the edge of the door and draw a line along the bottom of the lower two holes you just drilled. Align and square the plate with this line and draw a second line along the bottom of the adapter plate. Again. Use the T-square against the edge of the door to extend this line, making sure it is square with the edge of the door. Place the adapter plate on the outside of the door and align the bottom of the plate with the lower line. Trace around the inside opening to mark the lock set cutout. Please note, fiberglass dust can be very irritating to your skin and eyes and is very hazardous to breathe. Protect yourself, wear long sleeve clothing, the disposable gloves and dust mask included in the kit and eye protection. Using a jigsaw on a slow speed with a fine metal cutting blade cut along the lines. Test fit the new lock assembly into the opening adjusting as needed. Be careful not to make the opening too large. Make sure the latch fits flush with the outside of the door surface. Check along the edge of the door and make sure that the latch bolts move freely and don't bind or hit anything. Some trimming or filing of the fiberglass on the edge of the door may be needed around the latch bolts. Apply the butyl tape along the back side of the outer adapter plate. Try to keep the butyl tape between a quarter and half an inch away from the edge of the plate. Remove the masking tape on the door and clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Press the outside plate firmly into position, making sure the cutout aligns and the plate is square to the edge of the door. While holding the door lock in place, install the inside adapter plate. The inside plate can be held in place by inserting the two flathead machine screws into the latch bolt end of the lock set.
Install the inside door handle and assembly. Make sure that the lever on the inside fully engages with the release lever on the lock set. Then gradually tighten the four screws in a crisscross pattern until snug. Do not over tighten. Finally, tighten the two flathead machine screws on the edge of the door. Close the door and see if the original striker plate will latch. In most cases, the latch will not engage the original striker plate and the supplied aluminum striker plate will need to be installed. If the latch bolts do not engage the original striker plate, then remove that plate by drilling out the pop rivets, then use a screwdriver or small pry bar to remove the latch plate. Place masking tape along the door jamb. Extend the deadbolt and mark the position of the top and bottom of the latches. In most cases, the fiberglass door jamb will need to be trimmed slightly to allow the latch bolts and deadbolt to fully extend. Place strips of butyl tape on top of the masking tape and extend the deadbolts and gently press the door latch and deadbolt into the butyl tape. Mark the masking tape where the dead bolt and latch imprinted the butyl tape. Use a round file on the top and bottom marks, then the jigsaw to cut the remaining fiberglass. Usually the door jam only needs to be trimmed about a quarter inch. Install the flat aluminum latch plate on the outside of the door jam by centering it with the latch bolts. Close the door and measure the distance from the edge of the door jamb to the side of the door. Position the latch plate so it does not hit the door but the latch bolts are firmly engaged. It is usually slightly less than a quarter inch proud of the edge of the jamb. Drill two 3 16 inch holes through the fiberglass. Start by drilling one hole then installing the flathead machine screw through the latch plate and door jamb securing with the washer and the nut on the back side and snug it up. Then align the plate and drill the second hole. Install the second machine screw, washer and nut and tighten both machine screws. Test close the door and adjust if needed. Attach the inner aluminum plate by drilling the two 1 8 inch holes on the plate and install pop rivets. Remove any excess butyl tape that is squeezed out and then clean the area with a cloth or shop rag dampened with solvent. Congratulations, your new lock assembly is complete.